With a limit of sturgeon or diamond side, as they're sometimes called, in the cooler, it was time to head for shore and a little lesson on the proper techniques for cleaning and preparing the catch. For that, we paid a visit to the local landmark of Sturgeon Paul's Smokehouse. Watch close. You're about to see an artist at work. I'll show you here what we do. We go along the below the cartilage, and it's, it's all feel with a sharp knife. It's not... It seems like it's easy like a salmon, but it's not. Um, make a little groove there to hold on to the filet. And we remove this cartilage just like, a, just like you would the bone of a, of a salmon. Trim off the rib cartilage. Skinning. We try and ride up as high as we can. Try and leave as much of the fat on the skin as we can. Okay. What a person should do is trim this off before they prepare it. Just trim that red meat off, just like that, that fat off of there. And what I recommend is that you cut them into uh, like fish stick sizes. And cut them in those sizes there like that. And okay. you can cook them hot and fast. Uh, basically, this is the size you want to go into, like this. And fry those just like that. Okay. And it's fantastic. Um, cool. You don't want to overcook them. Perfect. Why don't we finish uh, cutting these up, and then we'll go ahead and vacuum pack them for you guys. That'd be great. Okay. And then last, we have some product that's over a year old uh, without any, any freezer burn. Bites so subtle they're easy to miss, followed by ferocious takedowns and real peelers you worry about ever stopping, throwing some spectacular scenery, a bit of rain, wind, and maybe even a glimmer of sun. That's what makes the sturgeon fishery in the Columbia River estuary so enticing. If you're planning to visit, check our website for all the details. And remember to check your schedule so you're sure not to miss the next edition of America's Outdoor Journey.